Hi. In this video, we're going to count potential losers. You count potential losers in term contracts. What you want to do is count the potential losers and then decide how many potential losers to avoid in order to make your contract. So the advice given in the class was focus on a hand with a longer trump suit. It can be your hand. Typically, it's your hand, really, or the dummy's hand. This whoever has a longer trump suit. If it's a evenly split trump suit, for example, you, your dummy has four and you have four, just take your hand. Assume the opponents are divided evenly in each suit. And assume that in the evenly divided uh, hands, your opponents have all the high cards in all the worst case places. Then you start counting your potential losers. Okay, let's try that. So let's get the bidding over with us. Okay, so let's count. By the way, counting gets faster as you get more practice. Right now, it seems like it seems really slow and maybe even boring, but it's necessary and you will get faster at it. Your contract is four spades. Your opponent has led the ace of hearts. So in four spades, you can only afford the loss of three losers. Three losers in order to make a contract. Let's count your potential losers. In spades, you have one potential loser. You have eight cards, opponents have five. If opponents are split three, two, with the missing queen in the three card combination, you could lose a trick to the queen. So that's one potential loser. In hearts, normally I would say that you have one potential loser, but given that the opponent has already led the ace of hearts. You basically have one sure loser now, but you have the your ace, your king and queen of hearts are good. That's two. And you have one potential loser in clubs. In fact, it's a pretty sure loser because you are short in clubs and with a king and queen and the opponent's ace is bound to take either your king or your queen. That's three. In diamonds, if you assume that your opponents are split two, two, you have nine cards here, so opponents have four, right? If you assume that opponents are split two, two, you would have no problems. But here, I usually like to now shade it uh, a little bit to the pessimistic and assume the opponents are split three, two, right? With the queen, jack, 10, nine, nine and so on cards uh, in the opponent's hands. So I, I would say that I have one potential loser in the diamond suit, although it's not strictly following the instructions. But this, uh, wanting to be slightly more pessimistic for the purpose of planning. Of course, if you're, if you're lucky, uh, opponents are split 2-2 and you have no issues, absolutely no issues in diamonds. But uh, since we seem to have uh, relatively few losers, uh, let's add this one in just to be on the safe side. So right now, we, to recap, we count one potential loser in spades to the queen of spades. One potential, one sure loser to the ace of hearts. One 
potential loser or sure loser to the ace of clubs and one potential loser in diamonds. So we have to plan to make sure that one potential loser does not uh, result from our planning. Let's move to the next deal to count again. Again, uh, the contract is four spades. I can only afford to lose three tricks. Let's count potential losers. I have one potential loser in spades to be lost to the king of spades. That's one. Again, opponent has nicely led the ace of hearts. So I can confirm the loser in hearts already. That's two. In clubs, I have two potential losers because it depends on where the ace jack 10 is located. I have seven cards, opponents have six. So if you are split 3 3, then it's possible that the ace jack 10 are located inconveniently for me and I'm, I might lose two tricks. So that's four. And then I have two potential losers in my diamonds. That's six. So I have six potential losers and I had to figure out how to get rid of three. I have six potential losers. I had to figure how to get rid of three. And that's where I'm, I should focus my efforts on, figuring out how to avoid the loss of three tricks they were regarded as potential losers.